Hello everybody, welcome to the class once again. Are you all ready to learn more Japanese? New verb forms and more about Japan? Well, if that is the case, then well let, let us do something new today. Let us learn how to say that I can do a certain thing in Japanese. Also, some new simple kanjis which we have earlier done as words, something new about Japan and of course, lot of other expressions and vocabulary. So, well before that as we always do, we will go over our assignments and let us see what you have done. So, well the first assignment you have some pictures in this assignment, some words are given here and you have to match with the pictures. So, the first one is naka which is over here, neko wa hako no naka ni imasu. Then we have ue which is over here, tanaka san wa zo san no hana no ue ni imasu. Urusai, urusai desu, sumimasen, chotto yamete kudasai. Soshite, sumetai, sumetai as in touch, sumetai desu. Kori wa sumetai desu. Muzukashi, mondai is muzukashi, so well, Mondai wa muzukashi desu kara Tanaka san wa ima kangaite imasu. Then we have shiroi and what is shiroi? Gohan wa shiroi desu. Then ushiro, buta san desu ne, buta san, buta san ushiro desu, the back, behind, back side. Atsui, ima atsui desu. Soshite, nagai, shinkansen wa nagai desu. So, well this was exercise 1. Well, let us see what we have here. You have a lot of pictures here and you are to tell what they are doing. So, well you have to practice your te imasu form or the continuous form. So, well the first te imasu or continuous form is kiite imasu, kiite imasu, listening, utatte imasu, singing or this could also be gita o hiite imasu, hiku is the verb, hiite imasu. Then we have Hataraite imasu. Tanaka san wa ima hataraite imasu. Then Tanaka san wa ima biru o nonde imasu. Oji san tsukarete imasu. Kodomo tachi wa oka san to issho ni asonde imasu. Tanaka san wa oishi gohan o oishi niku o tabete imasu. Soshite ima shosetsu o yonde imasu. So well this is continuous tense te imasu and de imasu form. You will see again over here that you have ite, you have tte, you have nde. You have only te for group 2 and you have again te over here for group 2. So, well you have to keep in mind that group 1 is tte most of the time and group 2 is te. Now combine the sentences with 
te form of the verb and make one meaningful sentence. The sentences are given over here, you are supposed to combine them. I am sure you can do this on your own without me having to read it out to you. You will notice over here, watashi wa uchi e kaete gohan o tabete terubi o mimasu. What you have to see in te form is that the order is very clearly given. Uchi e kaete gohan o tabete terubi o mimasu. So, after this I will do this and then I will do this. So, that is what is important over here and you can say a lot of things in one sentence with te form. Now, there are a lot of pictures here and you have to write expressions or phrases. What do you do in this situation? When you enter office or classroom or maybe your jimusho, what do you do? Well, what do you say in the morning? When you enter, you can see the sun shining bright. So, well, it is Ohayo gozaimasu. Please repeat after me once again to get the correct pronunciation. It is Ohayo gozaimasu with a rising intonation. And with men, you could just say Ohayo also. Ohayo with just by raising your hand. The second one is this person has just stepped on someone's foot. So, well, what do you say? Sumimasen. Sumimasen. Or you could also say gomen nasai. Gomen nasai. Gomen nasai. Or sumimasen. Well, the third one is someone comes knocking, inquiring about you. Is someone around? Is someone there? Well, it is gomen kudasai. Again with a rising intonation. Gomen kudasai. So, you can see is someone around and then over here someone is writing a report or probably writing an exam or maybe just working and this gentleman over here is about to leave. So, well what does he say? Gambatte ne, gambatte ne meaning that work hard, keep working. So, well this was your assignment which I had given you. I hope you did it well and everything is alright. You are comfortable now speaking in the language, comfortable with conversation. So, well we will do something new today. We will do I can write kanji. I have the ability to perform a certain action. Now, let us see how we are going to go about it. Well, the first thing is the radio conversation which we will listen to and then we will do the explanation. Ima nodo ga kawakimashita kara nani ka nomitai desu. Nani o nomimasu ka? Nan demo ii desu. Sumetai mono o nomimashou. Sumimasen. Sumetai mono o nomimasen. Doushite? Nodo ga itai kara nomenai. Ja, sumetai mono o nomanai de atsui kocha o nomimashou. So well, how much did you understand? Here is the conversation. I will read it out to you once and then I will explain. So, well, this is a conversation between A san and B san. A san to B san no kai wa des. Sore de yomimasu ne. Ima nodo ga kawakimashita kara nani ka nomitai des. Ima, now nodo is throat, ga kawakimashita, it is dry, kara is reason, nani ka something nomitai des, I want to have. My throat is dry, thus I want to have something. Ima nodo ga kawakimashita kara nani ka nomitai desu. You can also use plain form over here. Kawaita kara nani ka 
飲みたいです。何を飲みますか何でもいいです。Anything is alright, is ok or good. 冷たいものを飲みましょう。We just did 冷たい in our assignment. 冷たい is cold, not as in weather, but as in touch. 冷たいものを飲みましょう。すみません。冷たいものを飲みません。So direct, I will not have. 冷たいもの、もの is things. Actually, with 冷たいもの、when you add it like this or make one word out of it, then it means something cold を飲みません。And now, well, どうして meaning why? Why do you want to have this or why you do not want to have a certain thing? 喉が痛いから飲めない。喉 is again as I told you throat が痛いから。So you are giving reason over here. Thus, I will not have. I cannot have. 飲めない。じゃあ、冷たいものを飲まないで。熱い紅茶を飲みましょう。So well, let's not have something cold. Let's have something hot. So we have three words over here. Kawakimashita, which means dry. Nomenai, which shows that I cannot have something. And nomimasen, a direct no over here. So let us see. This, of course, is again in the script. And you can practice your hiragana and your kanji over here. Some kanjis are a little difficult, but well, you should be able to recognize them even if you cannot write them. This is your translation. Sometimes it may sound very odd. For example, my throat is dry, is a literal translation. I want to drink something. That is not what you would say in English. You would say something entirely different. Let's have something to drink. Well, I'm thirsty. Let's have something to drink. So, literal translations sometimes seem very odd. So, you have to be very careful when you're talking. Now, there was a word in the beginning, nani. Nani. Nani ka. We have done this earlier also. Nani ka means something. So, well, Nani o nomi mas ka or Nani o tabe mas mas ka. 何を飲みますか何を食べますか ?Direct question. 私はジュースを飲みます。私はケーキを食べます。Direct answer, direct question. 何か飲みますか ?Will you have something? 何を飲みますか ?Polite question. What will you have? 何か飲みますか ?Will you have something? いいえ、What should the answer be? いいえ、何も飲みません。いいえ、何も飲みません。何か飲みますかいいえ、何も飲みません。Or you could also say, はい、ジュースを,を飲みます。So well, there are there are different combinations. I have it here for you. We will do it from here. You can see very clearly. Nani o nomimasu ka? Juice o nomimasu. Or, nani mo nomimasen. I will not have anything. Or, you could also say, 
nan demo i desu. Anything is all right. So, for this question, any answer could be there. Juice o nomimasu, juice o nomimasen. Nan demo i desu. Or, you could also ask, nani ka nomimasu ka? Iie, nani mo nomimasen. I do not want to have anything. Or, Iie, nani mo nomitaku nai. I do not want to drink anything. Then, you could also have nani o nomitai desu ka? Nani mo nomitaku nai. I do not want to have anything. Or, you could also say kocha o nomitai. I want to have kocha. Then, you could also ask a question, nani ga ii desu ka? What would you like to have? What do you prefer? Nani ga ii desu ka? Juice ga ii desu. I would prefer juice. Or, you could also say, nan de mo ii desu. Anything is all right. So, there is a difference in all of these. Please, try to go over it, see practice and you will be more comfortable. Nani o nomimasu ka? Nani ka nomimasu ka? Nani o nomitai desu ka? And nani ga ii desu ka? And of course, you could also name the thing you want to offer to the person. For example, juice o nomitai desu ka? Kocha o nomitai desu ka? Or in a polite way over here, instead of this, you could ask Kocha wa ikaga desu ka? Kohi wa ikaga desu ka? So, they could say juice wa juice ga ii desu. Or kohi ga ii desu. Or kohi o nomimasu, juice o nomimasu. So, over here you could use these nani ka, nan demo, nani mo, nani o, nani ga, any of these and ask your partner, practice and feel more comfortable. Now, we had done verb in te form plus kuda sai. Tabete kudasai. Tabete kudasai. Now, this is please eat. Tabete kudasai. Please drink. Nonde kudasai. Please read. Yonde kudasai. Please sit. Suwatte kuda sai. So now, how would you, how would you say, please do not do this action? Well, it comes from. You have done iki masen negative. You have done yomi masen no mi. Masen. So, what is the negative? Ik a nai. So, i ka nai. Yo ma nai. No ma nai. Now, you just need to add, add de kuda sai over here. Remove the i from here. I ka na i de. Kudasai. Yoma na i de kudasai. Noma na i de kudasai. I will just write it down for you over here. Yoma na i de kudasai. Noma nai de kudasai ika nai de kudasai tabe 
naide kuda sai. So, please do not drink, please do not read, please do not eat and please do not go. Te kuda sai and de kuda sai. Now, you can practice over here. There is a picture of these two people taking this dog for a walk and someone is eating ice cream. So, well, tabete kudasai, please eat. And what is the negative? I told you just now, mainichi ice cream o tabenai de kudasai. Then we have someone has had lot of beer probably or wine to drink and is singing and dancing. So, well, non de kudasai, please drink is the te kudasai form and then taksan osake o nomanai de kudasai. Osake is liquor or the Japanese local rice liquor which is very popular. Taksan osake o nomanai de kudasai, please do not drink too much osake or another te form could be utatte kudasai, please sing or utawanai de kudasai. So, any of these you could use and practice with your partner. Now, we have been doing te form a lot in these past lessons. We have done te kudasai, te imas. We have done two te forms in succession and imas. Now, today we will do verb in te form plus kara. Verb in te form plus kara. If you remember, this kara we have practiced in another way earlier with i adjectives. For example, giving reason itai, itai kara iki masen. You have also done it with plain verbs in your previous lesson koko ni aru kara kai mas. So, well, atama ga itai kara, my head is paining, thus, thus I will not go or it is over here, thus I will use it. So, you are giving reason over here, this is not reason please, verb in te form plus kara, you will see from the kaiwa over here, this is a kaiwa between Tanaka san and Rao san, I will just read it out to you. Rao san, shigoto ga owatte kara nani o shimasu ka? Uchi e kaette kodomo to asobimasu. Mainichi so shimasu ka? Iie toki doki shimasu. So, well, shigoto is work. Rao san, shigoto ga owatte kara. Owatte kara is after your work is over and please over here when you are using this form it is always in the future you are talking of future after your work is over then what will you do so it is not present it is future you can see now from here rao san shigoto ga owatte kara nani o shimasu ka what do you do when your work finishes. Uchi e kaette, I generally go home and play with my children. Mai nichi so shimasu ka, you do it every day, iie toki doki shimasu. So, it is not happening in the present, it is not past, it is just inquiry one and then it is also always for future action that has not happened as yet. So, please with te and kara form, remember that the action is not over, it will happen 
some time later. Over here you can see, we will practice tekara form over here. Kaisha e itte nani wo shimasu ka? Kaisha e itte bucho to sodan shite repoto o kakimasu. So, what will you do once you reach office? Itte nani wo shimasu ka? Well, kaisha e itte bucho to sodan shite. Sodan is I will talk to him, I will consult him and then Reporto o kaki mas. So, it is all happening later and not has happened. Well, there is another one, Tanaka san is taking a bath. So, well, uchi e kaette kara nani wo shimasu ka? What do you do once you reach home? Well, uchi e kaette shawa o abimasu. So, once I reach home, after that I take a shower. So, in your previous lesson you did te imas, lot of te verbs, you say a lot of things in one sentence. Well, with kara you make it very, very clear that this is the jumban, this is the serial, this is how I perform my activities one after the other. Well, now as I told you we are going to do verb in potential form, which is showing that I am able to, I can perform a certain activity. Now, how do you come to this form? How do you make this form? There are various ways, but the simplest way, which is easy to learn and memorize, I will tell you right away. Iki mas yomi mas nomi mas kaki mas suwari mas so you have this in mas form the simplest way to remember this is remove the i over here and put e instead which is a in Japanese, a in Japanese and you will get the potential form for group 1, which we are going to do today. We will cover group 2 next time, because there is a different way of making potential form for group 2. So, well, ikemasu, yomemasu, nomemasu, kakemasu and suare mas I can sit, I can read, I can eat, I can do. So, watashi wa niku. No, that is group 2. So, we will not do group 2. We will only do group 1, stick to group 1 and do potential form. So, you can repeat after me once. The plain form of the verb is given here. Ikemasu. Kaemas, I can buy. Nomemas, I can drink. Yomemas, I can read. Hanasemas, Kakemas, I can write. Arukemas, I can walk. Hakobemas, I can shift or move something. And Dekimas is group 3 for suru, which is to do, dekimasu is for do, meaning I have the ability to perform a certain activity, to be able to do something. So, this is an exception, instead of suru, we have dekiru for group 3. Now, practice this, what is he doing? He is reading, yomimasu. So, well, Rao san, nihongo ga yomemasu ka? Can you read Japanese? Hai, daijoubu desu. Yomemasu yo or yomemasu. Now, he has a plaster, he is trying to walk 
and well is all right now. So, you can ask Rao san daijobu desu ka arukemasu ka? Hai daijobu desu arukemasu. And then we have another one over here. Rao san is trying to push this trolley or this huge almira and what does he say? Rao san hitori de hakobemasu ka? Hitori is alone. Hitori de hakobemasu ka? Can you shift it alone? Well, hai hakobemasu or hai daijobu desu. Now, you will notice there is a ga over here. So far, we have not used ga like this. We have used ga in a different manner sumimasen desu ga. Over here, ga is for ability. You are stating something very strongly that I am able to perform this or do this. You are stating a fact, what you know. Thus, with ga, you put emphasis on what you are saying. So, well, you should always try to put ga with potential form. Now, we always do kanji and today also we will do kanji. There are a lot of kanji characters today. You have done these characters as words and we will try to do the kanji today. Let us see. The first kanji character that we have over here is onna. Onna. We have done this word onna no hito. Onna no hito. Hito also you have done. The character for onna is a simple character 1, 2 and 3. It is a 3 stroke character 1, 2 and 3 like this. Onna. Onna no hito. O n na no hito. Hito. Onna no hito. Hai. The next one we have over here is it is a three stroke character you can see. Then we have otoko. You have also done otoko no hito. We have done otoko no hito. Now, the, the character for otoko no hito is very simple. Have you done? Do you remember doing this character with Tanaka san or Yamada san? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and what does this look like? This looks like ka, mi, kami. Kami no ka. Kami is paper. Ka mi. Quite similar to ka. This is otoko. Otoko meaning danse, meaning man. Onna no hito means woman or a lady. Otoko no hito. So, very simple once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and like this. So, let us see how many strokes there are. There are 7 strokes to this character. Now, very simple you have done this word onna no hito. We have done onna no hito over here just now. Well, if I if I make this on top like this, this becomes yasui which is chi. Kono megane wa yasui desu. Kono megane wa yasui desu. Kono pen wa yasui desu or kono megane wa takai desu. So, yasui for you over here once again one 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Yasu. Simple from onna no hito. We are trying to do these characters which are simple, which you can understand, which you can 
memorize easily and of course, kanji we will do a little later. It is a six stroke character, you have done onna no hito already and then there is another one, jose, say over here means gender. So, this is feminine gender, jose or a young girl and otoko no hito or danse which is masculine gender. So, these are the words for you, you can practice these, use them in your conversation. Now, there is a small expression for you as I have been doing in class all the time. Well, there is oji san who has fallen and we have this gentleman over here, Tanaka san who is watching from a little far and he sees him falling, what does he do? Well, ara oji san ga taoremashita. So, a simple statement, ara o oji san has fallen, taoremashita is fallen, has fallen. Komatta na, itte mimas. Komatta na is, what shall I do? Komatta na. Ko, komatta. Komatta is a little, a situation where I really do not know what to do. Komatta, komatta na. Komatta na, itte mimas. I will go and see what is the matter. Ara oji san ga taoremashita, doshimashou. You can also say doshimashou, what shall I do when you are talking to yourself? Komatta na itte mimas. And then he picks up oji san and what does he do? Oji san daijobu desu ka? Are you all right? Oji san daijobu desu ka? Is everything all right with you? Kyu kyu shou yobimashou ka? Shall I call an ambulance? And what does Oji san say? Totally lost. Iie daijobu desu. Guai ga chotto warui kara. I am feeling a little bad. Guai is my general feeling is not very good. Ga chotto warui desu. It is a little bad. And he leaves it incomplete again, does not want to say everything. Iie daijobu desu. I am all right. Guai ga chotto warui kara, I fell, thank you very much, arigato. So, well you can use these expressions, they are good. If you know these expressions, you know where to use them, you understand them, your language naturally becomes better, you can communicate better with people, you can, you can talk in any situation to anyone and you also understand what the culture is with these expressions of any place. So, well try to use them. There is katakana for you as we do always ra, we have the ra series, ra you can see only two strokes to this, ri again two strokes, this is a little longer e, a, e E is almost equal in re, it is a little longer. Ra re, ru again two strokes, very angular, very sharp. Re, just a single stroke, straight, and ro as in kuchi. So, you can learn this, these are simple, you have it now all in front of you in one sheet and you can see ra, ri, ru, re and ro all very pointed, very angular, but easy to remember. So, well now we have been talking a lot of katakana and lot of different verb forms. Well, this is very simple, you can see some photographs here of the seasons in Japan. This we have done, 
this is spring, haru is spring, natsu is summer, aki is autumn and fuyu is winter. So, well what happens during these seasons? One in haru, during haru time you do hanami. Through the seasons you can also see the culture of Japan actually. We have talked about hanami earlier in one of our lessons. You have sakura and viewing of these sakura blossoms. In haru which is spring, you have the kanji characters also. You can go over the kanji characters, try to memorize them. In natsu, it is holiday time, vacation time. So, thus in Japan, they have hanabi which is fireworks and they enjoy this with their family. In autumn, it is a beautiful time because in Japan, the trees change color, the leaves change color, they become red and it looks beautiful in all shades of red and brown. So, that is Aki time in the forests, in the mountains, it is beautiful to go and spend some time with family. And then again in Fuyu, you have Christmas, you have lot of snow, children enjoy making Yuki Daruma, which is the snowman and they spend time during vacation with their friends and family. So, these are the four seasons, Haru, Natsu, Aki and Fuyu. The kanji characters are given over here. You can look up the net and see what all is done, what all festivals are there during these seasons. Now, as we have been doing a kotowaza in each class and kotowaza as I told you last time is using words very smartly, very intelligently to say something in short. So, well there is another kotowaza for you over here. Kotowaza also tells you about the country, about the people, about the culture of that place, what people, how people behave, how they interact. It has generally these kotowaza, these sayings, these proverbs have a very long history and they have evolved from some happening sometime and are used now as these very intelligent sayings, these words, these sentences which you can use very intelligently to say something, teach someone something. So, well over here, there is a new kotowaza today. Look at the picture over here, there is a bird and there is a dog and he is laughing, has a very amused look in the cartoon over here. He is pointing at something, the dog is pointing with his paw and just laughing. Now, what exactly it is? It is a bird hidden over here. The bird has just hidden its head and the tail can be seen very clearly. So, even though the bird is thinking that it is hidden, no one can see it, but it has just hidden its head. Now, what it means is that to have an ostrich like attitude where you just go and hide your head and try to feel that all the worries, all the tensions, all the problems are gone does not help anyway. You are still exposed whether it is danger, whether it is a problem just by hiding your head by running away from something you do not gain anything at all. So, the bird after probably seeing the dog hid itself behind a bush, behind this big leaf thinking that the dog could not or will not be able to see it. But the tail is very clearly visible and the dog can see and easily you know what is going to happen, it is going to pounce and finish the bird. So, well now, let us see what the proverb in Japanese says or is. It is given over here in kanji and in hiragana and 
you can read it now very clearly. It is atama o kakushite shiri kakusazu, meaning you hide your head, but you do not hide your backside. You do not hide your back. So just by hiding your head, you cannot run away from problems. As you can see, hide one's head, but not the back. That is the literal translation of the proverb word by word. And over here in English, it is equivalent to an ostrich like attitude. A big bird like ostrich just goes and hides its head in a bush and the whole body is still exposed. One cannot run away from what one has to do and has to face it boldly. Well, this is this is your uh, kanji over here used in the kotowaza. Atama kakusu is to hide and oshiri is the back. Proverb tells you a lot about the culture and it says a lot in very few words. That is what the saying says, do not have an ostrich like attitude where you hide your head and think everything is hidden and nobody can see you. Well, it is not like that and also not to hide from situations, face them boldly and come out flying, that is what it means, come out as a victor. So well, that is what the Kotovaza tells you, you have some vocabulary over here, you can go over the vocabulary yourself, the meanings are given, it is given in Japanese as well and you can practice this, make sentences and practice this. There is also lot of language that is dependent on culture. Language also tells you about culture and culture tells you about language. So well, we are doing a lot of things here in this class and today I will tell you about kodomo no hi. You all I am sure do know about kodomo no hi that is children's day, it is celebrated everywhere and children are celebrated. So well in Japan also they have been celebrating this for years and years, but children's day was always celebrated as boys day earlier. Boys were always celebrated as is all over the world and in Japan as well. You can read a lot of things here. After World War II, this celebration of boys day was changed into children's day and they started celebrating the 5th of May as children's day in Japan and the 3rd of March which we have done earlier as Hinamatsuri day as the girls day. Two days were earlier celebrated but after World War II they started celebrating 5th May as children's day. Now what they do on this day, it, they fly koi nobori which is which is giant carp wind socks outside their houses and celebrate that day with friends, with children, with family. There is a very big folklore in Japan. There was a very famous boy, Kintaro, known for his bravery long, long back and this day is celebrated as boys day in his memory and parents want their children, want their boys to be as brave as Kintaro and as determined in their goal as Kintaro. Now the story, the folklore is that a carp or a koi as they call it in Japanese manages to swim upstream and up a waterfall 
to a gate called the dragon's gate, leaps beyond that and then turns into a dragon. So basically the folklore is that you have to be very determined, very focused in what you want and that is what the parents want their children to be and thus this day is celebrated as children's day. It coincides with the golden week also which is a big festive time, holidaying time, holiday period for the Japanese and they celebrate it with their family and friends. On this day they have rice cakes for um, children, they are sweet rice cakes, chimaki and uh, kashi wa mochi, they are all um, made out of mochi which is sticky rice, some are sweet and uh, they are all had. This is one of the popular dishes of uh, kodomo no hi and uh, all kinds of ningyo that is dolls in armor are decorated in the houses, children wear those clothes and they go visit people, visit uh, jinjas, temples and pray for their well being. These are the carps the flying carps, these fishes, these streamers which are hung and displayed. Some photographs are for you. These photographs are all from the net. They are from Google. You can check them out. You can see how these kites are made. They fly kites. These are the dolls. They decorate them in typical samurai uh, attire and like this in proper formal clothes children dress up like this, use these big uh, caps to wear to show that they are all very strong and these are chimaki and kashiva mochi which is had on that day and they celebrate with friends and family. Earlier the grandmothers, the maternal grandmothers used to make these streamers on their own in hand by their own hands and would send them to their grandchildren. But now of course it is not done, they are available, they are displayed all over and people enjoy them. They are hung for about a month, month and a half and it is fun time. So well this is all about children's day, you can read more from the net and we can discuss all that a little later. Well you have your assignments now, there are a lot of assignments for you. Use te form, write te form over here, then look at these pictures and write in hiragana. Then you have match these kanji characters with the meanings, um, change the verb forms, the clues are given over here, you can look those up. Then what to say in these situations, you have to use all kinds of expressions, practice your expressions then words from brackets, particles from brackets, you have to choose and tick the correct ones, write something about this picture, about 10 lines on this picture and that is about all that we have for you today. That is all that we have for you. Well, go home, study hard, practice with your partner and then we learn something new in our next lesson. So, minasan. Mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.